This moss design with the animals has just taken over. Last year, Barbara King brought them to us in limited numbers. This year, I think they're even cooler than ever before because she's incorporated the look of stone and moss together. Mm -hmm. When these are gone, these are gone. We've added a couple of animals to, a, to the, the design. I've got a swan, a lamb, there's an owl, we've got a rooster, mm -hmm. and I get to say hello to you again. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are this you? This is Janet Heitman. She works yes. with Barbara King. Barbara had a huge weekend last weekend. We did. How much fun was that? It was amazing. It was incredible. Uh, we had a live audience in the barn, yep. and it was a lot, a lot of fun. It's the very first time that we had able to work out where Barbara King, and if you know Barbara, she is just, she's made of glitter. She's mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, she has a store called the Valley Forge Flower Company that is a magical place, and it's in a giant barn. Yeah. And we finally were able to get our camera crews out to the barn. How many people showed up? Like 40, 45 people? Yeah, 40 in the live audience. And that was the, that was, and the crew was at least 80. <laughs> yeah, it was an unexpected group. <laughs> Look how adorable right. these are. And, and they're heavier in weight than I remember from Yeah, I feel these are very substantial. And when I was reading some of the viewer comments on the, online, I think that's what they were really surprised about was this, how substantial they were, but also the detail that we did this year. You can see how the stone is very detailed here, and even the stone changes colors as if they're yeah. real pebbles from like, maybe a river or yeah, or a hand, of, yeah. a hand stacked wall. Right, exactly. But like the detail. In Oh, exactly. Goes all the way around. You can see all the detail on the feather of the rooster, and then again back to the side of the wings, and then with the moss, I think we did a really great job with that again, and then even up here, the little crown for the rooster. So that is the rooster, which yeah. I absolutely love. Nobody does this moss like you and Barbara King. Right. And moss is extremely hard to grow, which I did not know no, that until, I, here, until I started working with Barb. It's extraordinarily easy to grow when it's growing somewhere you don't want it to grow. Very true, but, very true. But trying to train it doesn't work. Exactly. Yeah. And I can reside these pieces outdoors. You can, indoor, outdoor safe. Leave them outdoors. Leave them outdoors. In the weather. In the weather. That's what, you, the stone is a, a resin material, and then we had the, the faux uh, moss done, which wow. is also able to do that as well. But again, even the detail on the swan, all the way around again on the stone, the different colors that you're seeing, but even the tail feathers, yep. and then back around where you have That's this beautiful all done. little bill. Uh, we say hand painted, it's actually almost like a, a stain, but right. it's, it's gotta be done by hand. Yes, absolutely. And look at just the detail around the eye the there. Eye, on the, yeah. yeah, it's so sweet, it almost <laughs> looks like it's smiling. Then you added two brand new pieces, and I've gotta tell you, uh, we raise lambs. Oh, you so, do? Yes. Yeah, so to have this little guy by the front door, I think would be stunning. I you think just, he is so sweet. You just want to rub the ears. Yeah, just how he's laying yeah. on his moss little legs. Yeah, yeah, I actually yeah. think any of these, I love them in the house as well. This would be a great centerpiece on your Easter table. Sure, or just uh, by the entryway door. Absolutely. On Anywhere on your porch you're going to enjoy them. Right there, as you can see, the camera just picked up just like that green and the brown stone, which I think is just adds to the detail and the, the uh, realisticness of the, of the stone and itself. And the craftsmanship. It's, right. Uh, there's a very unusual process from making these come to life, and there's mm -hmm. not very many places that can do it. Right, absolutely. Uh, so they really did a beautiful job, I think, on the, on the lamb, and just his cute little ears. And again, you can see he's laying on his legs that are curved underneath here, so he is just, oh, just so sweet. Look at his little face. Uh, this is where you look at Easy Pay and go, man, what a opportunity, because mm -hmm. they are priced very affordable. They're $28 and change, but with our five Easy Pay payments, that's 566. Mm -hmm. So you've got that first payment of under six bucks, and then it's, it's shipped and right. you put it in your garden right away. Right, right away. And look at the owl. I absolutely yeah. love this owl. Again, you can see the attention to the detail. I love People him People are all. loving the owl. Oh, he is so sweet. And I think it's a great teacher gift, especially for your school librarian. I think that would just oh, be yeah. awesome on a teacher's desk. Again, the coloration on this stone is just so fantastic and the detail. And again, we've got the faux moss on there, indoor, outdoor safe. But this is great in a library, again, as a teacher gift, even in your home, in your den, wherever you want to put. I am fascinated by owls. Uh, we have barn owls on mm -hmm. our property. And they're not tiny animals. They're pretty good size. Right. They literally make zero sound when they fly. Oh, really? Their wings, I mean, you can see them Very stealth. flapping their wings, but you hear nothing. Yeah. It's, it's uh, an anomaly. That's very But look fun. at the eyes. Look at the eyes on that. But how pretty is that to keep in your garden? Yes. A pretty creature to keep the pesky I animals like, away. Yes, I like how you just kind of tucked them back into the corner. Right, looking down I, on a you. A little bit of surprise. 
Just yeah. a little friendly surprise. Reminds me of the owl from the Tootsie Pop commercials, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he ever find out the answer? I thought it was three. I, <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's yeah. gorgeous. Um, but, I think the rooster, again, is great on a kitchen island if you have it on a tray. Okay. Um, I would, if I was doing a gift basket for a friend with gourmet foods in it, I'd put this in the center. Sure. Just you, then put the tissue around it and give it as a gift. I think it's absolutely great. And, and they'll again, have it for years to come. Right. And so substantial. Again, yeah. this is what I was reading. It's so substantial people were picking up, too. Uh, you'll, I think you're going to appreciate it. The two new ones for this season are our owl and then also our lamb. Uh, don't forget the rooster. More and more people are, I don't know how roosters became so popular in kitchens, yeah. but they did. Yeah. Roosters Great farmhouse and French country. Yep, yep. Yep, so they're really, really sweet. I got to admit, it's a tough choice, Janet, because okay. they're all just adorably cute. One of each. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. That's very cool. <laughs> I've got a lot more coming your way as we continue our great outdoors with Dan. Uh, coming up a little bit later on from the folks at National Tree. It is the biggest, fastest growing category 